Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So Tom Brady says that he's returning as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback next season. The old man just won't hang it up, bruh. He came out on Twitter and said, these past two months, I realized that my place is still on the field and not in the stands. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back for my 23rd season in Tampa. Unfinished business, let's fucking go. So, um, am I surprised about him coming out of retirement? Um, yeah, but no. Um, the reason why I'm not surprised is because we all know that Tom Brady still wanted to play ball. You know, I knew Tom Brady deep down inside wanted to keep playing the dude. Never hinted that he was thinking about retirement. So, the fact that it was so sudden. I was thinking maybe it's a family decision. Maybe his his wife is in his ear. You know how the wives be. You know how the girls be. You know, maybe his wife is in his ear trying to get him to sit down. You know, you've done enough. You know, come home. Like, spend time with us, you know. Same thing with the kids. I'm thinking the kids in his ear. I'm thinking this is strictly a family decision, bro. Damn. He actually went through with it. So, I'm thinking, yeah, he did it for the family. And then... You know, the news come out today that he's coming out of retirement, you know. So the reason why I am surprised is simply because I thought he was done. I thought he was done. I'm thinking he's 44. He about to be 45. If he retiring, he meaning that shit. He meaning that. So today he let it be known that I'm willing to play until the fucking legs and wheels fall off of me. You feel me? So that's what he's going to do. And when you, um, I mean, when you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this is a W for the organization and the fan base because Tampa, they were in a great situation when Tom Brady was there. You know, they had talent coming in left to right. You know, they actually won the Super Bowl his first year there, and they were going to continue to chase Super Bowls until Tom Brady was ready to hang it up, bruh. Really, and they, they're built for that. They're literally built for that. So when Tom Brady just retired on them out of nowhere, it just put them in a sticky situation because, like, we have talent here. We have people that want to be here because of Tom Brady, but Tom Brady's not here. So it's like, are we even going to be good? Like, they even got the coach. They got Bruce Arians. So it's like, are we even going to be good? Like, are we even going to make the playoffs? Because they had nobody that was going to be the quarterback. They had no backup plan as far as a player already on the roster. When you look at free agency, free agency is as dry as you can get. The best options is Jameis Winston. I'm sure they don't want to bring him back. He's garbage anyway. Not going to win no Super Bowl. Um, Mr. Bisky, you know, those type of tier quarterbacks are out there on the market. Teddy Bridgewaters. Them, them ain't the quarterbacks that's about to make differences for your team, no matter how much talent you got. The draft. Bums, you feel me? Plus, Tampa has a, a pretty um later pick in the first round. Plus, you're not looking for a rookie quarterback to win you a Super Bowl or make you an instant playoff contender because they have learning curves, especially when your head coach is Bruce Arians because he's going to make you throw that bitch. You go mess up. Then, you look at the trade market. Russell Wilson, he's already traded. Aaron Rodgers, he let it be known. He's staying put. Um, Kirk Cousins just got a weird extension. Even though he wasn't on the market, he was like an underrated option. Um, Deshaun Watson's really the only quarterback out there that can pretty much upgrade a team. And Tampa, they haven't even been expressing no interest in no quarterbacks that I've heard of. You feel me? So it kind of has me wondering, did they already have the inside scoop on Tom Brady potentially coming back? Like, were they just waiting to see if he was coming back? Because the timing was so perfect, bruh. He came back a day before free agency starts. So not only does it give the organization and fans clarity, but it also gives the Tampa Bay Buccaneers opportunity to reel in free agents because now they're attractive again because Tom Brady is still there and who doesn't want to come play for Tom Brady, especially when the team looks how it looks now. So it's good to see Tom Brady back. It's surprising, but not surprising. But this is big for the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers because if Tom Brady didn't come back, like I said, man, who knows how good this team would be? Who knows? 
Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about everything. Just keeping it pretty simple, man. This is good for Tampa Bay and the fans. They should be ecstatic. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got some more content coming soon.